Hello of my smiley faces and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Bright Smiles. It's been a while since I posted any art so I thought I should record a speed paint so you guys could all see my process of doing my digital art. Also, I'm so excited to announce that I now have an Instagram, so the link to it will be down in the description box below. I would also like to thank Small for helping me understand how to use the program to record my screen because that's the main reason why I wasn't doing any art was because I only do digital art now, so it was I didn't figure out how to record my screen, but um, she helped me understand that. So the link to her YouTube channel and her Instagram will be down below as well, um, so be sure to check her stuff out. Also, I'm very sorry for the cruddy mic. I'm recording this on my computer. Um, now let's just kind of talk about what's on my screen. So right now, I'm just mainly inking the drawing. And um, I cringe at myself because I can see all the points where I messed up. But, you know, that's that's okay. Um, but yeah, just I did the sketch in my sketchbook. And basically right now, I'm just inking it. Um, and I think I added on her other hand fingers because it was bothering me. <laughs> yep, there I go. I was adding fingers, but, um, yeah, and then I started to color in her skin, and, um, I actually used, I think it's, like, the magic wand tool or something, but, um, to select everything so it was easier and faster for me to fill in her skin, um, and then for her little rips in her jeans I had to actually go in and paint that myself because I didn't want to have to select piece by piece for that so that's what I ended up doing there and then um after I do that I finished with the skin basically so I started to add little details so I got out my kind of pinkish color and started to kind of add blush and stuff um then I also used the burn tool so that I could add um, shadows to her and kind of make it look a little bit better than just plain flat colors. Um, so you can see me just going in adding little details um, to her and um, just making it look a little bit better than what it would look like. Um, and then I think I started to color the hair. Recently, I've been really obsessed with doing this little ombre effect on my character's hair, where it just fades into uh, another color. So you can see me there. I did it from brown to purple to white. So it kind of looks like it had been growing out, um, and her natural hair color is brown. Um, then I started to work on the clothes, and I don't know what made me come up with this outfit for this character but I just came up with this outfit for this character and the only words I can think of to describe her outfit and her style is just radical and pops of color because her hair her clothes everything just kind of pops um and so I don't know what inspired me to do her outfit but yeah that's basically what I'm doing and I also started to add shading I don't know why but that um usually I add shading at the very end but for some reason today I was just like you know what I'm gonna add shading as I go along with this um and for some reason it wasn't showing up on some areas but that's okay and I started to color in her um jeans and add a little bit of shading to that too um and then I also realized there was one part that I forgot on the jeans, so that made me a little angry, but I was like, okay, you know what, just gonna do that. Um, then after that, the big thing that happened came in. I colored her headphones in green, and then I realized I wanted to redo her shoes, <laughs> so what I basically did was I went on my ink layer and just completely erased the shoes because... I wanted to redo them because that wasn't how I actually, that's not normally how I draw shoes and I don't know why I drew them differently on her. But yeah, I basically re-inked the shoes and turned them more into the shoes that I always do. And then I gave them that exact um, green color that I gave to her headphones so it could be like back to that. So kind of a color scheme, kind of not, I don't know, but... 
um, redrawing the shoes completely made me off track, so I had to, um, it took me a lot longer than I usually do because I had to redo everything, um, but luckily it didn't mess up my drawing too much, and I colored in the shoes pretty easily. I don't know why I do the little X's, like, because that only made it harder on me to color in her shoes, but, you know, I don't know. <laughs> um, also, if you can't tell, this video is unscripted because, yeah, um, <laughs> um, um is all I say today. So, I just started to add highlights on her, and then I put in a white background, and as you can see, when I used the, the magic wand tool, you can see, like, little spaces of white. So I had to completely go on like a layer behind it and color it in black so that it would fill it in. And then I selected her, like I merged all the layers together that were her and I selected all of it and then colored it in the back so it made it a lot easier. And then I used to do little photo edits where I would like for sims or whatever and I would like make them have shadows behind them and all that so that's what I did with this drawing so after I colored it in I duplicated that black layer it'll show it in a second but I duplicated that black layer I changed the opacity to be really low and then I just kind of moved it off to the side and put it behind her so it actually looked like there was a shadow behind her and I made it a little bit bigger because normally shadows aren't your same size. And then I kind of connected it to her feet so it would look a little bit more like a shadow. And then um, the hardest part for me is always choosing the background color because I never think of it at the time. And so it took me forever to choose a background color. But I finally went with that kind of greenish blue. And then I put the date and signed it. And so yeah. I hope all of you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see all of you guys later. So, see ya!